हेलो एंड नमस्ते माय नेम इज मिस्टर गौतम बेहरा एंड टुडे आई विल डिस्कसिंग ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू कार्बराइजिंग हीट ट्रीटमेंट सो एज वी नो कार्बराइजिंग हीट ट्रीटमेंट इज बेसिकली ए केमिकल हीट ट्रीटमेंट और इट इज ए सरफेस हार्डनिंग हीट ट्रीटमेंट इन दिस केस वी बेसिकली इंट्रोड्यूस कार्बन इन टू द सरफेस ऑफ द स्टील now which steels are given this carburizing heat treatment basically all the steels are not prefer to give carburizing heat treatment only the low carbon steel that is the weight percentage of carbon is 0.102 point 25% these steels are given carburizing heat treatment and these steels are also called carburizing steels and there are certain alloy steels which are also given carburizing heat treatment for example molybdenum steels and chromium steels just have a look at the examples of the steel grades coming under this category that is aisi american iron and steel institute 1018 and one is 1117 Four zero two three, four double one eight, and five zero one five. So according to AISI, American Iron and Steel Institute, one represent the first digit one represent it is carbon steel, plain carbon steel, and the four represents basically molybdenum steels, and five represents basically chromium steels. So all these steels are carburizing steels. then generalized procedure for carburizing heat treatment so in case of carburizing heat treatment the steel surrounded by carbonaceous materials in form of either solid liquid or in form of gas is taken to the osmotizing temperature for sufficient interval of interval of time and during this process the carbon start diffusing from the carbonaceous material to the surface of the steel so now why carburization is done at osmotizing temperature not at phreatic temperature or phreatic zone this is because the solubility of carbon is higher in austenite phase compared to that of ferrite phase and what is the temperature range so basically the temperature range is 910 to 930 degree centigrade for carburizing but actual temperature depend upon the weight percentage of carbon basically how much carbon is enriched on the surface of the air of the steel basically it is 0.7 percentage to 0.9 percentage of carbon is getting enriched onto the surface of the steel this weight percentage of carbon which is getting enriched onto the surface layer of the steel basically depends on the time the exposure time or the holding time now the surface hardness of the steel is a function of weight percentage of carbon higher is the weight percentage of carbon higher is the hardness and it also varies with the type of steel we are dealing with so now there is a data we have the steel types versus maximum hardness at a particular weight percentage so plain carbon steel have maximum hardness at a carbon weight percentage of 0.8% and if we have carbon manganese steel the maximum hardness is obtained at a carbon weight percentage of 0.86 percentage this is because of presence of manganese the carbon percentage is increasing and if we have nickel chromium steel it is again decreasing and maximum hardness is obtained at a carbon weight percentage of 0.72 percent so above this weight percentage of carbon the hardness falls thank you